Welcome back to another episode of Red Hawk Media. Today we're looking at a tool called Content Aware. Let's get started. Today uh, we're looking at this uh, wheat field here, and the uh, the wheat field seems incredibly planned. But here's what we actually started with. Uh, let's backtrack a little bit. Oh, oh, and there we are. Okay, now um, the idea of content aware is that you can remove things from pictures to some degree um, just by selecting them and choosing the content aware feature. Uh, there's an advanced algorithm that processes with all the background that's around it and then it attempts to fill it in. And sometimes it's very successful and sometimes it's not depending on how busy your background is. So let's uh, let's see this from the very beginning here of how we went about this. Uh, to begin with I just selected the subject or the person and I actually left a little room around here so all I did was I used the uh, lasso and I very quickly came around and made my selection here and as I looped around staying semi consistently equidistant from the outside I made my selection now uh, there's a couple ways we can do this as with Photoshop there's always loads of options or avenues here the first one is I can go up to edit and I can go to fill once I go to fill, I'm going to get some options. Now, depending on what you've been using in the fill options here, sometimes you'll have color up there as your first option. Sometimes content aware will be in there. Um, but uh, we're going to choose content aware. And leave everything else exactly the same. And then we click OK. And it's going to process, and boom, she's out of the wheat field. Okay, This is especially useful when you want to remove something that's annoying in your picture. For instance, here's a nice scenic picture of the mountains. The only problem is I've got a car parked on the road and I want to remove it from the picture to kind of complete the uh, feeling here. So I'm going to go again very quickly and select around this, making sure I include those shadows because those don't look very realistic if they were to remain. And select all the way around here and voila made my selection. Now the other way that we can use content aware is I can just right click on my selection here and then I can go to uh, fill again. Once I'm there make sure that it's on content aware and then click OK. And boom we got my selection. Let's go ahead and deselect it see how well we did and it looks pretty good there's not any blurring actually around the idea of this around the uh, the edge of this and that picture this picture isn't terribly good for resolution but uh, to give you an idea there's the actual size of it um, it's pretty convincing that that car was never there so if you've got family photos from a trip um, and something unfortunate happens to enter your picture this is an option for removing it thanks for joining us again for another episode of Red Hawk Media <laughs> bye